On the previous videos of this last series of programming languages from this playlist, we created two scripts, one PHP and one Python, that were able to connect to our MySQL server and retrieve data from it. Now, inside the MySQL directory, I have two other directories, one called PHP and one Python, that carry the relevant scripts and programs. Now, I'm about to create a bash script in this video that connects to the MySQL server and retrieves data exactly the same as PHP and Python but this time in bash script. So I navigate inside MySQL directory and create another directory called bash and then navigate to the bash and here I create a file using the vim editor called bash.sh sh is the extension for the bash script of course now I'm good to go ahead and create my bash script I start editing it by typing the wrapper so it tells the system that this is a bash script I can do it this way and after that I need some information to create the connection based on so the first variable that I want to create as host and the other one will be port I can specify a port if I have changed it of course and then the user and then password the database and at the end we need another variable called query that carries our SQL statement now let's fill this variables with the actual data the host will be localhost the port will be the default one 3306 since we have not changed it i want to use the root user that has this simple password and the database that we want to connect to as mysql tutorials now it's time to create the SQL statement that will be select all from students. And this is the whole information to create the connection. Now I type my SQL in dash lowercase h and then I give it the host and then dash uppercase p to specify the port after that dash lowercase u this is case sensitive please pay attention uppercase and lowercase makes difference here so after u we specify the user and after that we type p and stick to it we need to specify the password then dash uppercase d for database and at the end for the executable command we type dash lowercase e and give it the query these are the information the variables and the actual command itself now I save this command and if I do an ls here we have the bash script but it's not executable it's just a simple file since you see the style it's very simple and if I want to make it executable on Linux systems we can do ch mode and plus x and then the name of the script I do an ls here and this time we see it in green color and bold font it means that this is executable now to execute this a script we need to type dot slash and then the name of the file that is this one and so we have been able to retrieve all data using a bash script from mysql tutorials database of our server and this is how we can create a bash script to connect to mysql server and of course you can tweak this sql statement and make it customized for your needs